Spooders! Slender is the strand that guides our destiny. God, her voice is so good. by true sacrifice. In our kingdom of Ashkahet, no one understood this sacrifice more than Queen Nephoris. My mother. Mummy! I saw this when the Black Empire came to conscript us for their last stand at Nyalotha. That didn't work out. My mother refused them. For this treachery, your line will sever itself. This kingdom will wither I'll make with you the mine. of your work. Her strength defined us that day. And in that moment, we felt destined for greatness. But in the years that followed, yeah. our greatness was tarnished. Look at them out there. Wretched. Starving. I am not immune to our people's suffering. I believe. Better days will come. Not if you keep failing to seize the moment. What was the point of you freeing our future? Only to leave us buried in the past. You comprehend so little. <laughs> there stupid. is much for you to learn before you can be queen. Mother! Mother! That's the hu that's the stone. Anzarek? What do they know about the stone? Are you seeing this? You have heard my voice in your dreams, great queen. The harbinger, yes, of the empire that was. But the old gods are dead. The Empire lies in ashes, and a shadow has fallen on your kingdom. But the blood of the old gods can make your people powerful again. Your reign could last for eternity. Full Gul'dan, baby. All you have to do is take my... Words are tempting, but the cost is too great. I would never risk my kingdom for such power. Mother, who are you talking to? Oh, ghosts, dearest. As always, they are my ready counsel. I'm not sorry for what I said. I only want our people to be great once more. Greatness is fleeting. What we must do now is endure. Your time will come, child. But only when you are ready. What have you done? You're not the only one seeing ghosts. Mother. How sad to have a queen so wise and yet Chris, so it's what we did to the call of destiny. That's exactly what we did for our country. Her name. It's literally exactly what we did. You had your chance, mother. With this power. Ashkahet is unbound. We will rise. We will conquer. And together, we will drop loot. We will finally claim our destiny. Long live Queen Anzarak. Man, I wish
wish they'd do more of the cutscenes like that. I really like those for storytelling. I super like those for storytelling. I can't believe how accurate we were. And we thought they wouldn't go for it. We genuinely thought they wouldn't go for it. It was like, we want it to be creepier. We want it to be manipulative. We want it to be all these kind of things. That's dope as fuck, man. That's super dope. No wonder they were like, oh, yeah. <laughs> they were like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the jam right there. Uh, that is... I don't know how he clenches his fist. Whoa. Is there a crab version? Are you team crab or team spiders? Uh, I'll have to do ghoul down, perhaps. Uh, I mean... These are the first, this is the first raid, so we know these guys are getting clapped. Unless they do some good stuff with the story. I am more interested... Where is it? That's the Hallowfall stone, right? What do they know about the stone? Because that's... Am I wrong with the rays of light shooting out of it? Or is that just the Temple of the Spiders? Because it looks like it's attacking the old gods. I don't know whether it's the Spider Kingdom underground but uh, it could be the hallowfall stone with the top of it and it's pushing back the old gods yeah it's pushing back the black empire down here there's a big tentacle daddy rising up to it you don't think it's the stone i mean i'm just basing it off i mean this could be web i suppose because it is joined here it could be web extending from their kingdom but it's rep their kingdom's represented as really small Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's I think it's just their small kingdom rising above the uh, the Black Empire. That's a shame. I was wondering if we get some Hallowfall stuff out of this because obviously I was I was looking at it, it as like it was only on frame for a second, but it looks like rays of light shooting out of it. But I think it is supposed to be webbing. I think it is supposed to be webbing. Hmm. Because I actually, I don't like the story in the spider zone. Uh, it was, meh. <laughs> I don't really care about the spiders. This is more interesting, this cutscene. The Hallowfall stuff, though. I need to know more about this. Noble doesn't even know. Like, we don't know. We don't know. The Hallowfall stuff is, uh, that's the juice right there. That's the big juice. At least I hope so. I hope that's leading to something. Because uh, I feel like it's... Um, yeah, Zalatath is a really great villain. I sincerely hope Zalatath is the villain villain for the next three expansions. I do not want to kill Zalatath this expansion. Like, if we're doing a three expansion story arc, I think the villain needs to maintain. I would like some good building of this villain. Because WoW's villains are just so throwaway. Unless they've been established in, like, Warcraft 3. Like, the Lich King wouldn't have worked if it wasn't for Warcraft 3. I want them to keep going. Yeah, I want Eridacron to come back into it, but I don't want her to be replaced by Eridacron. Does that make more sense? Eridacron is due to come back and do something, but uh, I'm I want I want her to be here. You get me? Yeah. Are oh, you amazed by this, Chris? Uh, it was it's, the first thing I thought. I saw it and I was like, "Holy shit, we were dead on." We were dead on. It's no <laughs> wonder when we sent yeah. it off, they were like, "Yes, <laughs> absolutely yes," because yeah. they would have seen this already. But, I was like, yeah, man, they would have known what we were doing. And, sight, dude. See, we could have gone fucking darker with it. I'm telling you, man. Uh, we could have gone darker. Great. We could have gone darker. Uh, I need the card. I've got to pay for these shirts. Oh, God. How much? Uh, I'm actually not sure. You're not sure? <laughs> I know it's less than, you know, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you a title once I've spoken to. Do I have my wallet? <laughs> I has got it. Oh, no. No, it's not got it. Uh, it's fine. Well, I'm actually amazed. Uh, we'll probably do this for next PreachCon in a bigger way. We really weren't expecting how many of you wanted custom shirts. Uh, it's all like nearly a third of all attendees have had a custom shirt made. We weren't. We we thought it was like when we talked about it in the meeting because usually the people who get custom shirts for PreachCon, it's like. I don't know, like 20 or something? Like a few people get custom shirts or they have them made elsewhere. Um, so it's usually like 20, 25 or something. So you're like, okay, uh, not a big deal. I think it's like over 100. <laughs> Got them done uh, and sent images. I know some of you sent images that were just completely absurd. And Chris has had to go back like, dude, <laughs> that's not going to work. Uh, 
That is not going to work. That is completely absurd. Uh, that is no no way. Yeah, I, I, I think it's somewhere like... Because I know we did them essentially non-profit at all uh, to make sure they were as cheap as possible. Like, there's a lot. That, that guy... That guy who's doing it, I don't think has any idea. Does he know how many shirts are coming, Chris? I don't think he's prepared for what's happening. I don't think he's prepared for what's going on whatsoever. It's got to be Gigasus. Gigasus. So hopefully everything <coughs> works out and he can get a maid in time. Uh, I can't see it being a problem, but we'll see. Good cutscene, though. Really like this. This was fantastic. This was very, very good. Very nice. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, give it time to fulfill the order. Oh, he's got time. Uh, he's, I, I know when Chris spoke to him, he's, he's well aware of it. He's like very excited for it, the person who's doing it for us. I think Aridacron comes in a Titan expansion and probably see him in midnight at the end or something. I kind of, I mean, my gut theory is in a general sense without specifics is we probably uh, in some way hinder Zalatath and then Aridacron offers help in midnight. That would make some sort of sense, right? Is like Zalatath is not defeated, but not successful. I mean, my gut feeling is I want us to lose in War Within in a bad way. I would prefer it if that happened, if uh, we lost in some way. Because they've got three expansion story arcs to play with, so it's fine if we lose. How that pays off, I don't know. Because we can't really... In World of Warcraft, you can't have a raid boss that wins. So I don't know how they're going to work that into the game. You need a raid boss that, you know, that we beat to get the loots. Just wipe the raid. Maybe you can. I mean, how would you pull that off? How would you have her winning? The best, the best way I can think of is that uh, we have to defeat something that we think is the ace in the hole to reduce her power in some way uh, and we do that and it plays into our hands you know some sort of like twist like that so like she actually we don't fight zalatath we fight something uh but it's in doing so we enable something to happen uh jane has survived at least i uh, i kind of hated that they had jane run away um i think it's cheap just to have them just just leave i think it sucks right I think it fucking sucks. Uh, Razageth kind of won by dying at freeing the other incarnates. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Is like if if there's some way of either not fighting her or fighting a shade of her, they could do that. You fight like her, what you think is her void power source or something like that, uh, and uh, we end up like enabling her to do something else. I, I would love if the end of the war within cutscene after the raid dies is the world becomes corrupt, not just like one zone like we did with Nazoth. Like there's shit everywhere, and they they just they throw loads of stuff at various maps to have the world change. But I know they won't do that because Ian told me that's a waste of resources. It's a practicality issue, unfortunately. It's a practicality issue. So we'll see, we'll see. Unless the new zones, they could contain it, I suppose, to just the new zones in some way, is that it spreads or something like that. Uh, we have a dungeon where we fail. We do, but dungeons don't matter too much. It's a, it's a, just a, it's a massive amount of work for modelers and 3D artists for something that, unless it actually exists into midnight, in which case it's justifiable, right? Because then you're basically making the midnight zones now, for example. Like you're changing them at the end of the war within, and they're zones that are going to be used in the future, and therefore, therefore the the it's it's reasonable to spend those resources changing the world for later on just recolor everything purple well you don't want it to look shit do you like changing a skybox is good enough Ooh, oh it's called midnight what if azeroth moves or is enshrouded in void it's called midnight it's dark at midnight I don't think they'll move Azeroth. I think all of Azeroth will be covered in void, except the Sunwell. Because that will be the safe bastion. It'll be the last... Kael'thas is back. <laughs> cool. Again. Because, like, if you think about it, right, we know Kael'thas is where the Midnight's taking place. Yeah. Which is obviously where the Sunwell is. It makes complete sense. 
midnight sort of implies if we lose at the end of War Within, the entire planet gets covered in voidiness. Yeah, that just involved changing the skybox. That's workable. Yeah, you can do we that. We did that with yeah. Argus. We did that with other things. Uh, and they put, they put some mobs in. I mean, they can phase it, right? So they just put mobs in um, that kind of fit if they want. But changing the skybox is easy enough. Hmm. Yeah, changing the it's skybox really cool. is good. They can have fun with that. Because I, I know when we spoke to Ian, it was like, yeah, we would love to change the world. But it's like millions of dollars for something people look at once and don't give a shit about. Well, it's, like. it's the great thing about what they're doing is that if you move the story to kind of an area of the old world, it kind of gives you an excuse to update it, right? That's a good thing. So we know Midnight is Quoth the Last, which hasn't been changed since TBC. And then The Last Titan is in Northrend. So it kind of works in that sequential I hope way. so. I really want... I want Zalatas to stay... Uh, and have a, a re I want Zalatath to stay. I do not want another disposable villain in WoW. It's no, no. Uh, I, I imagine Zalatath will probably be like the last boss of Midnight, and then Iridacron in Last Titan would be my guess. Oh, it's a void infused Titan. Zalatath's last savior is to go to the Titan. I would like Zalatath to survive all the way to Last Titan. Oh yeah, it would be cool. I don't know Unless will, we, but... we have to enlist the help of the Last Titan to defeat. Yeah, well, the Last Titan I would, I would suggest is implied to be Azeroth, which I think could be kind of cool. Is if I, well, we I, still don't know who the voice is that's called them. I mean, it's probably Azeroth. I, I assume it is Azeroth, and yeah. I imagine it ties into what's happening with Halfall, but, like, nothing that's happened, at least in the beta of War Within, mm. is anything to do with that voice. I, like, I'd ideally like to see... John Azeroth. Azeroth actually get birthed out of the world and have, like, the, the planet crack apart. It's entirely possible this is legitimately setting up WoW 2. It's I'll entirely it's yeah. entirely possible that this entire project is to ultimately have a reborn Azeroth. It is entirely possible that that's the plan over the next six Although years. Although not actually WoW 2. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, they're never going to make WoW 2. No, It'll no, still be World of Warcraft, yeah, but you get what I mean. Like they, a re, re, complete redo of the world. Well, if you think about it now, what, what, let's look at it from a practical standpoint. Just bear with me on this. Look at it from a practical standpoint. World of Warcraft has far too many zones yes. at this point. There's just too many, and they're all fucking empty all the time. No matter what they do, they just have these massive um, empty zones. It's like a Tesla car park, right? Yeah, it's just exactly. filled end to end with fucking <laughs> cars, and nobody's walking around in it. There's all this content in there, but no one gives a shit. It's far too big. It's far too fucking just nothing going on. We never and have it, any reason to go back to anything. We don't never have any, it's an MMO problem, right? It's the same yeah. as the leveling problem. It's ultimately you add new zones. You add a new expansion. There's another five, six zones, another five, six zones, another five, six zones. And then over the course of that expansion, you add the extra things. You know, you add like Legion Fall, you add mm. Corthus, whatever. And ultimately, you just end up with this massive empty ass world. And if we're going to rebirth Azeroth or save Azeroth, it's entirely possible that they're planning to uh, redevelop the the old world and condense it back down so we could have cataclysm 2.0 where yeah. like northrend sinks goes away uh you know that could be it's like it's gone now it's like that shit's gone i would be totally down if that's a six-year plan that gives them six years to work on it mm. cataclysm <laughs> 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 well, as long as you don't stick electric boogaloo at the end that's fine i was just saying does this guy uh have you paid him well uh, uh, not yet no he's got yeah is he aware of how many t-shirts there are uh, well, he is now because I sent him the spreadsheet. Uh, so I, I gave him like an estimate of 50. Um, it's like double that. Uh, I think it'll be right. <laughs> Busy boy. I mean, it's, it's a big company. I, I, they do this sort of volume, so I think we'll be. Oh, fine. it is a big company. Yeah, 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 yeah so okay. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a commercial scale printer. So. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Uh, content about like Destiny then? Yeah, I mean, uh, does it matter? How pissed off do you think people would be? If you could no longer say get TBC reputations and Wrath of Lich King reputations, I think they would. I, I, I don't think they will do that again after Kata because it causes too many problems. But I think they have a solution, hmm. and they've already been sort of testing this out. They have a solution. They can do Wrath remix. They could do TBC remix where yeah, you're I mean, able to go and the get solution. them and bring it over to your main character. That could be the thing. Is like okay, they're sort of setting this. Maybe they're, they've thought about this exact problem, which is to say. You know, we can't. It becomes, as Ian said, 
a maintenance nightmare the more phases you add oh it, yeah he said it it's like it's it's fucking i mean look at yoshi p when i brought up like multiple jobs like it's the nightmare of every major mmo developer yeah you stack it's like and stack and where stack are we in five years yeah. and you think about it you can see yoshi p's face and ian's face it's like dude you've no idea <laughs> like it's just so big at the this point engineering necessary i can't even fathom it goes it just yeah i'm with crazy. more and more shit breaking every time you change one thing it's like oh, jesus christ and maybe it's time we redid this fucking thing because uh, i could uh, see holly pushing for that it's like yeah. let's do something like that I, if they kind of say to themselves like look it's like we need to make sure that this content is available in some fashion but it's becoming problematic to keep it around so why and don't we it's bad for the future uh, the vision of the game like they yeah. have to, with the phasing and stuff i i wouldn't i would love if they did have if they were re making new uh, i know we're legendary ringing here yeah, and they're probably not doing that but still <laughs> Despite the fact that it might see pie in the sky, there is very logical reasons and practical reasons to do something like this. Yes, it's absolutely. the same reason as we do level squishes and the same reason we do DPS squishes and all that stuff is it starts to get absurd and unmanageable yeah. and it needs to reset, right? So there is a practical element to this. Is Right now, I would say WoW's world, geographically, is way too fucking big. Azeroth's shape is a nightmare, as we've discussed in several videos, is the fact that it is two vertical strips is so <laughs> fucking stupid it blows my mind and whoever drew that map originally which should have been slapped whether it was medicine or whatever they should have been like chris come here come here did you draw this did you draw this fuck you because this is so fucking stupid like i can't believe you did this and he's like well i didn't expect us to make a living breathing world at some point it was just a loading screen yeah, when i exactly. made it like whatever but um it's got too many zones that all feel empty, and an MMO should never feel empty. And, and they're all, I mean, the big problem is they're old, right? I mean, so the example. Well, this is what is, I'm saying. Can they get rid of phasing? Well, that's the thing. Is the tech it's, there it's, now it's to get rid of phasing? We, like, anytime we want to do anything in WoW, you can't play with anyone else. Everyone's on different phases. And if you go back to some of these old zones, I mean, if you go back to, like, I don't know, fucking Darkshore or whatever. Uh, not Darkshore, but um, Ashenvale, let's say. Ashenvale still looks like it did in the Cataclysm. There's a fucking volcano there. Yeah, yeah. And all the cities are destroyed. It's like, it doesn't really feel like an MMO. And because it's separated off. Yeah, it doesn't feel, it, it rarely, it's nice when we play Cataclysm or not Remix because there's people around, but generally yes. speaking, not. So there is a practical reason for it, whether they change it. I mean, there's no reason to not keep the old world as is and then you move forward in the story to the future version. Uh, no, what I'm saying is, you, yeah, don't base it on the way the game is now. Is it worth at this point with a game that's seemingly not going to end anytime soon? Nope. Is we have the ability to remake WoW 2 essentially. We could do it in story, in canon, and we can have it so that we don't need phasing anymore. Like, because you gotta remember all the phasing and shit, all the issues that led to phasing is because it's still running on the original fucking WoW code. Like, yep. it's not built for what we ended up having. Why do we need phasing if you're you're basing it on the current World of Warcraft? You're basing it on the current World of Warcraft. That's not what we're saying. It's like you've got six years to work on a fresh version that doesn't have the problems that lead to all these issues. Yeah. <coughs> like if you're if you're someone like you know Holly or whatever, and you're saying, okay, well look, clearly this game is not going away anytime soon. Nope. We have to start thinking in terms of what's happening in ten years from. Well, they already are. Like, when, yeah, literally, no, no, when we were on campus, it was the 10-year meeting. Yeah, exactly. That's what they were having in the boardroom, and they wouldn't let us in. No. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't let us in, but it's like, it's a big day today, because uh, they were all going into the boardrooms for WoW's 10-year plan. Uh, or Warcraft's 10-year plan, not yes. WoW's 10-year. I want to be clear on the wording there, because I don't know what else they're working on, but it was the Warcraft 10-year plan, not WoW's 10-year plan. Mm. Uh, they can't make those zones in modern zone scaling in six years, maybe 10. I mean, that's just a really weird take because you don't know what they're building it on and what engine they're building on or what resources they're pouring into it. That's, like, you don't know how long this has been in the works. There's so yeah. much you don't know. I'm not saying it isn't the works, by the way. No, <laughs> but you don't know whether they've been working on this idea now for the past several years and are now like, this is the process. We're going to use this six-year expansion cycle to get it where it needs to be uh, and make it work. So that's that's what I'm saying. Like you don't know enough to say they can't do it. You no idea. And, right? and it's clear that they're going in this direction, if only because of what we're seeing in uh, Midnight in the Last Titan. Mm -hmm. That's confirmed, right? We're getting a new Quell for Last, and we're getting a new Northrend. That much is clear, and it's been established. And I don't think you only do those two. Yeah. It doesn't make sense unless you're kind of planning to do something bigger. 
Unless you're not convinced. I mean, I'm not, I would like to see this. This is pie in the sky theory. This is pie in the sky, obviously. But I mean, if you're going to do it, this would be the time to do it. If we're rebirthing Azeroth or we're saving Azeroth in some way, this would be the time to do it. And for a game that is still likely to be being played by a hell of a lot of people in 20 years time, at some point it needs something, right? Realistically, you know what I mean? Uh, that's, that's what I'm saying. At some point it needs something, you would think. Otherwise, you're just going to keep building and building and building. Yeah, there's too many zones. That's the point. We would get less zones, but modernized game. That would be the goal, right? You would get less zones. They would get rid of a lot of them. I imagine Pandaria would disappear. Uh, Northrend might disappear or Northrend might stay because they're redoing that. They get rid of a lot of stuff that's just no longer relevant because Azeroth is reborn. A new continent that's slightly different. Maybe some relics of the old past. Who knows? <laughs> I imagine there'd be some uh, weird, weird re remnants that are still there. Maybe like there's still like a Planet of the Apes Stranglethorn statue hand sticking out of the beach somewhere or something like that. Something along those lines. Legendary Ring. I, I, th I think there is genuinely a practical discussion to be had there of like whether we do this. If we're not expecting it to disappear anytime soon. Like how many, I, we, what we don't know <clears throat> is how many problems they're having, having internally working on the original base. Like how much is that hamstringing some of their ideas in, re in real terms? How much is that hamstringing them in 2024 development compared to 2004 development? Uh, what about pe well, people that paid for content that will disappear? Uh, and that's what I'm saying. You could have it so you transfer over or you log in to the old version, right? If you want to do that. You, I don't think you need to get rid of it. There's no reason to shut it down because as we've seen with WoW Classic, some people just want to play different versions of the game. I think they've learned that lesson with the vanilla thing. Guild Wars 1 to Guild Wars 2. Yeah, similar sort of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you paid for content that disappeared, and there is ways of bringing that stuff in through remix and stuff like that. Like if you do remixes where it's like, oh, you can go and get all your TBC content, your reputations, all the mounts, all the transmog. You can actually do it in a more efficient way in a fun little event. Then it's still there. <coughs> it's still there and available. And it's all going on. This is all legacy content at that point. At some point, you've kind of got to... I would think, anyway, at least from my perspective, at some point, you've kind of got to let go and move forward. And also the NPCs that allow you to travel back to a zone that's in the past. The issue would be is if it is essentially a separate client, a separate code, a separate game, I doubt you could link them two together because you would have to boot a separate game up, right? It would be as different as Destiny 1 and Destiny 2, Guild Wars 1 and Guild Wars 2. So I don't think, I doubt you could have a portal that sends you into the old game. Yeah, I doubt you could do that. Uh, it's a good idea, but after Overwatch 2, I don't trust Blizzard to play it off. Yeah, I mean, the teams are very different these days. I trust in Holly, is what I would say. Like, uh, I trust in Holly. I don't think Holly has let us down in any way, shape, or form since Holly took command. But we haven't heard anything from the new CEO. She has kept remarkably quiet. I'd be down for it. Like, I'm not a, a hoarder or anything like that. I'm not, um, I need to keep my pillowcase from, I have a few memorable things. Like you can see my microphone in the background. That's the first thing I ever bought with YouTube money. But um, other than that, it's fine to move forward. Assuming it's better, but you gotta give it a sense. She exists. Yeah, she has gone quite the opposite way. Uh, I mean, I asked for an interview with her when she took the role and the PR team was all down for it uh, at Blizzard. But uh, I think she's like, yeah, <laughs> I want to stay out of the media eye. I want to do my job uh, and do it as best I can. And uh, I'm not bothered about being on Twitch streams or whatever. I don't think removing, say, Outland, if removing anything of value. There's always going to be people adverse to change every single time. Um, but I think living in code of 2004, right? What were the games of 2004? I know they've done some revamps, but we're talking the era of, like, Half-Life 2 it was 2004. Doom 3 was 2004. Right? Silent Hill 4 The Room was 2. You think about what those games were like in 2004. It's been 20 years. And in another six years, 
it's 26 years since the game was made. Like, surely we could do something a bit nicer. <laughs> do you know what I mean? We could probably do something a bit nicer. Uh, we're gonna. It's, it's been 26 years. Like, can we maybe up it a little bit? <clears throat> is it worth it? How big is the game gonna be? Three more expansions in, like zone-wise. It's another 15 zones that are added to the game on top of everything else. Feels like the time you would consider doing something like that is uh, refresh it down, fresh coat of paint, and also have code to work on better things. <clears throat> People will blow the fuck up if Blizzard takes away content. They don't have to take away content. What they could do is you could uh, have a character in, say, I'm not sure what we're going to call it at this point. Let's. This is all theoretical. We'll call it WoW 1. So you have your WoW 1 character, which exists up until the point of the last Titan. And that uh, is linked to your battle net. So things you do in WoW 1 reflect into WoW 2. You could do that. Then you're not losing anything. Yeah, WoW Legacy, Legacy WoW, whatever you want to call it, is like if you do, if you go and do your TBC reps or anything like that, then that reflects into the thing one. I'm optimistic. I am optimistic. I think it'd be a good thing. But then again, I, I'm not like going to cry because I can't go and farm fucking Ogrelar dailies. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do that. But there are ways of appeasing those people. I'm not going to cry about it, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not going to cry about it if it means... <clears throat> if the positives are we have a 2024 version of the game that doesn't need phasing, can handle massive encounters with lots of people running around and doing things, and opens up a lot of opportunities for things that they want to do creatively that they can't do with the way the current game is currently designed in a, a 2024 version of an MMO. I'm not going to cry about it. Or a 2030 version. Jesus Christ, 2030. When are the flying cars coming? It's any day, right? 